Hi, this is Amelia Forzak from Piffy Word Smithery, and today I'm honored to be joined by Jennifer Fondreve. Jennifer is the Chief Humanity Officer at Day One Ready M&A Consultancy, and she's also the author of Now What? A Survivor's Guide to Thriving Through Mergers and Acquisitions, which just came out in October 2019. Jennifer, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I just wanted to have a quick chat and talk with you about what it's been like becoming an author. I know a lot of people out there want to write books, and it's always really nice and helpful to hear about other people's experiences. Well, it's funny because I still feel when when people call me an author, I always think like, are they are they talking to me? Is that <laughs> because I think when particularly in my case, I hadn't dreamed of being an author in college. I went into advertising and marketing and yeah, Amelia, as you know this, because you've talked from, to me for a long time, when I had the book idea, it just, it, it was a book idea that wouldn't go away. So for me, I feel like I'm an accidental author. I'm thrilled to have um, gotten it on paper and into a book form, but I never imagined I would until, until I finally did. And that journey, and I remember in our first conversation, you giving me the advice, you know, it's going to be a journey and, and you just have to be open to the things that happen to you along the way. Um, and I'm so, I'm so thankful that we had that conversation early on in my journey. Cause otherwise I would have been like, why am I doing this? <laughs> but, um, you know, even regardless of the fact that I'm an accidental author, I'm very happy to be one because I'm, I'm proud to have completed a book that I got it done. Um, yeah, that's huge. Yeah, you really, I remember, um, that, I think it was you or I forgot who told me, you know, take video of when you first open, when you get your first book and you open it. And I wasn't expecting the book to come that day. And I'm in a, just a bad ratty sweatshirt and I look like a crazy cat lady. And I open, I open it. I forgot that I was filming and you look, I look like I was about to cry. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. I have a book. <laughs> so it was amazing. Just amazing experience because I, I didn't really believe I had it until I actually saw the final product. Yeah, that's awesome. So your book goes with your business and I know you started thinking about both of them kind of at the same time and you made the decision to focus a little bit on building the business before focusing on the book, which I think was super smart to build your platform and, um, and everything like that. So I know you did your uh, article with Harvard Business Review and started to get like build up your thought leadership that way. Tell me a little bit about what that process was like and if you feel like that really made a huge difference in getting success with the book. Oh, absolutely it did. But what is, what is, now I can laugh about it, but I remember, I remember my um, first call with you and this is when I just had the book idea and I shared it with you and I remember you saying, this is a really neat idea, right? A survivor's book, how to survive mergers and acquisitions. You had been through a couple yourself and you thought that would be useful. But I remember you saying, but you really want to test this out. Make sure that there's a market for the book. Understand who would be the natural reader for it. And I remember going, oh, really? Like, I have to do that? <laughs> yeah. I was like, but millions of of people are affected by MA yearly. Like I know there's an audience for this, but I remember and I I, I was in my car in uh, you know, under the loop train and I remember the train passing over and being so deflated and thinking, oh, oh no, no, no. But I share this because it was the best advice that I could have ever gotten. Um, because it was in the process of building that business and thinking about who my audience was and you know, writing articles, getting into HBR was a huge piece of that, but it, it convinced me that there was an audience, that it wasn't just, you know, data in my head or in a couple of articles that I'd read, that there really was a, uh, a huge potential for a book that could help people who were going through what can be sometimes the most devastating part of your career. You go through a merger and acquisition and suddenly who you thought you were and the role you played in the company is all up for grabs. And so I'm thankful. Uh, I'm thankful we had the conversation. And um, I, I put in 18 months of building a platform, of, of going out and speaking uh, and, and fine-tuning the message. And 
the the most amazing thing for me, and you may recall this as well, the first sample chapter that I wrote for my book proposal at the beginning and what that chapter actually became in the book were night and day, uh, night and day. When I went back and read that proposal chapter, it was the dominatrix chapter, if you remember in my book. Yeah. <laughs> And I was like, ooh, man, am I angry in this chapter. I mean, I was, it, was like a, it was like a vendetta revenge story. And <laughs> thankfully, by the time I actually wrote that chapter with you, it was a very transparent perspective on the bullies that emerge in a merger and acquisition and how to identify them, but also how to work with them. And had I written my book right away, it would have been a useless book to people. <laughs> but by the end, you know, the building the platform, hearing people, getting exposure through articles, and then frankly, you know, all the interviews that I did for the book helped me create an end product that I'm enormously proud of. Oh, good. I, I mean, obviously it worked out because you had so much success with the book. I've been looking at it on Amazon and just seeing more and more reviews. And so right now I just checked it before this call and it's 65 reviews with five stars. That's amazing. It's been Thank out you. like six months. It's been out something like that. 65 and reviews a, is huge. And a big part of that was because I had built a platform. Yeah. Beforehand. Um, because, you know, particularly if you're writing a book that's unique, mine is a survivor's handbook for mergers and acquisition, not, not a coffee table book, not the kind of book you're going to swap around at a book club. It's very business oriented. So, you know, there's only so many of your friends, you can say, Hey, will you read my book and write a review? <laughs> you have to have a group, a network that you have built of people who actually understand the benefit of the book and are willing to read it and write a review that has people go, Oh, this sounds like it could be an interesting book. Yeah, and I know you've been doing a lot of speaking lately too, and that's really gotten traction, which is great for authors. It's a, a great platform for selling copies of the book and just getting in front of more people. So I think that that, I'm excited to see all that stuff too. Thank you. And the speaking part for me has been invaluable because a book is one way. It, it, it goes out there, someone reads it, thankfully drinks to the reviews. I know that people have liked it, but... Uh, Speaking gives me an opportunity to be face-to-face -face with people mm -hmm. and have them tell me how, how the message resonated, what was, what was funny, right? Because, you know, my book's on M&A and I knew no one would read it unless it was funny in some way. So the, all of the characters that I illustrated, had illustrated, mm -hmm. you know, the advice, I try and add the, the dark humor of M&A. And for me, the speaking part has allowed me to have that um, that interaction with people. And, and, and it's actually made the things that I've written since then that much better because now it's informed by people's reaction to what I wrote and, and um, you know, how I came at different problems. Yeah. Well, that's so great. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Well, you know, I, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm very thankful that uh, I talked to you at the very, very, very <laughs> beginning. I think, yeah, I think we talked in fall of 2016 and my book came out last fall, right? 2019. So, um, you know, everything, everything is a journey, as you said, and I'm, I'm, I'm thankful and really proud of, of, thanks to your help, what I was able to put out there in my book. Yeah. And I'm, I'm just super excited for what's to come too, because I think having a book is just going to keep helping you and help getting more speaking engagements and, and all that. So yay, yeah. congratulations. Thank you Thanks. so much for joining me today. I appreciate it. Thanks, Amelia. I really love being here with you.